Hi, beautiful. How are you today? You look gorgeous. Thank you for being here and being my friend. What about today? We're watching some people color their hair sort of 90s style. You know, the chunky highlight, this sort of thing. The 90s are obviously back. We've been known this, right? The hairstyles are also back, which I don't think a lot of people saw coming, but things repeat in history and we're back already. I'm not okay with this feeling of getting old and I'm not gonna stand for it. The good thing is I love a 90s hair moment. It was just so extra, just bizarre. It just brings you joy. So I'm looking forward to seeing some out there hair color today. You know, some 90s chunky, streaky, unblended, super contrasting hair color moments. So with that all said, let's check out the videos. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by the channel Funky Fits. She better be funky. So this video is called Dying My Hair for the First Time, featuring my mom's reaction. Ah! I love a virgin head of hair. I love seeing a transformation and I love the 90s. So this is absolutely what I want. Today is a day where I finally dye my hair. Now I have been planning this since early May, and now it is late December. It's been eight months. You've spent eight months deciding what you want to do with your hair? My impulsive brain cannot even fathom that. Like, I would do something one minute later, and that's like a long period of time for me to decide on something and then do it. Eight months! And I will also be dying it red. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad decision. My first time dying my hair. I'm absolutely so excited about the red for her. It's going to look so good with her skin tone. It's gonna give her that. <laughs> also, you know, she's using an amplified sort of box bleach, whatever you want to call it, moment, which is fine. Um, I'm pretty sure those lightning kits come with like 30 volume or 40 volume and powder lightener. So I think it'll be good for her. She has very, very dark hair. So she's gonna need a good pick me up with that developer to get it nice and bright. But she's also coloring her hair red. So she doesn't need to lighten her hair that much in order for it to look good because she can really just lighten her hair to a red stage. You know, we don't need to go white. We can go to red or orange and then put red over it. You'll still get a magnificent red color. Let's see how it goes. On the back, it says I should do a strand test, so I'm gonna do it. I love when people do strand tests. It's such a good idea. That way you know exactly what you're about to get yourself into with the lightning process. I am just mixing up the bleach so I can do the strand test. The fact that she just mixed the lightener with a spoon is impressive. And not even like a small spoon, like a full on soup spoon. How did you get that to mix? I used the brush app first and it works pretty well because it was only a tiny piece of hair. And then I put the tin foil on and I waited and I unwrapped it and surprisingly it did work but I did miss a glob of it later on I had to fix that then I sectioned up my hair into the parts where I would dye and the parts where I didn't and for the parts I didn't dye I just put it up with a hair tie because I didn't have clips and then I put in the rest of the bleach for where I wanted the dye to be. I still don't really know what's going on. Like I'm not exactly sure what the vision is. I did see the thumbnail and it looked interesting, but I'm a little scared. She's picking up random sections seemingly and then lightening those random sections and not really sectioning out the sections before she lightens them. Which, you know, lightener, if it's not put on every single hair strand, it can make things really blotchy and really ugly. Ugly, so wouldn't recommend that. Um, next time, you know, pick up your section and then section through that section, do the mids and ends and then the roots for a virgin application like this. But you know, she's doing red. So it is a pretty easy color to camouflage messes that you've made with lightning. So hopefully it still looks good. I tried going for a more streaky, stripey type of look with the bleach. And after I finished bleaching all the parts that I needed to bleach, I put some tin foil around the pieces just to separate them from the strands that I didn't want to dye because I'm going for a more Dracula type of look. You know what I'm saying? I think that said she didn't bleach her roots because she saw some people's hair fell off. What do you mean you're not gonna bleach the roots? We have to, it's part of the look. We're just gonna miss that? Explain this to me, because I'm not understanding. Also really happy that we're using foil. Foil is going to help lighten that super, super dark hair. And her hair seems to be coarse and on the thicker side. So she's gonna need all of that heat in order to lighten those hair strands properly. So good job. And I also put in some tin foil on the strands that I bleached to separate them from the strands that I didn't want to bleach 
just so I didn't get bleach everywhere and I also waited a while and that is what my hair looks like when it's all lightened. It seems from over here that her uh, ends turned a little orange, the mids look pretty good and I think she skipped the root. So it's interesting, but again, it doesn't matter if it's all nice and white cause she's putting red over it. So it should be fine. Here is what my hair looks like. Whoa! I bleached it. And this, this is just what it looks like when it's wet. I think the color can lighten up pretty well. Sorry for the change in angle, but here is what my hair looks like after I bleached it. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm interested to see on, you know, how it fully comes out before I make my full judgment. It's looking quite interesting right now. I think the red will help definitely give it that cool factor. Right now it's just feeling like a home color botched lightning job, to be honest, but it's artistic, you know? The back looks very bad. I will say that as a little warning. I could not see what I was doing. I'm gonna trust the process. That's what I'm gonna choose to do today. So I'm gonna show y'all the back. Okay, we have started to apply the Manic Panic Red. It's really gonna help solve a lot of our problems. It's 12.51, but I still have like a piece here. It's really dark though. I still have that piece to do and then I have my bangs. She's been doing this for almost five hours now. Everybody's always shocked with how long it takes to actually do a good job. If you went to the salon, it would probably take even longer than five hours, to be honest with you. Or maybe a little less. I don't know. Again, I'm just trusting the process. I don't know what else to say right now. It's a little... It's a little lot, it's a lot for me. You do have to be careful with scrunching the foils like that because if you scrunch it, scrunching the foils tends to rub off of some of the lightener or some of that direct dye that you put on there, which is like that red color that you used. So scrunching it is not usually the best thing to do. Um, try and fold it if you can, anything but scrunching. It is the next day now and here's my hair. Ah! Like, oh, I don't know how to feel about it. I think the bangs are kind of weird. I kind of wish I did more like streaky type of bangs instead of just a whole hunk. They are like Nishinoya from Haikyuu, but it's okay. She doesn't know how she feels about her hair. I know how I feel and I feel great. This is one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in hairdresser reacts. You could win a hair color award if you were a hair colorist doing this for somebody and like that was your outcome. Like it looks so good. I love everything about it. It's super modern. It's a cool take on sort of the 90s chunky thing. You know what I mean? Now that I watch this whole video, it's definitely a little bit of a stretch for 90s, but I think it's 90s with like modern twist, you know, because 90s were all about the chunky, the contrasting highlights and lowlights. So I think this definitely embodies that, but pushes it to the next level, which I I absolutely love. I want this on my head. I'm obsessed. This is so inspiring. This look is just incredible. I have to remake this on somebody's head at some point and amazing job, Funky Fits. You really had me for a second. I thought this was gonna come out so bad and you absolutely killed it. Snaps for you. Up next, we have a video by Sammy Nicole X. Wow, that's a very early 2000s name. I love that. Y2K, which brings us to the title. Chunky highlights, Y2K aesthetic hair. Absolutely, yes. I was just thinking, by the way, is this more like early 2000s or 90s? I think it's pretty much both. Like, I feel like this whole chunky moment lived on for a while. Okay, let's check out the video. This video has no sound, it's just music. So I'm gonna be narrating the entire thing and just trying to figure out what her process is. So her hair is pretty normal before, like grown out blonde hair. And she is using 30 volume and cream lightener, which is always a great choice when you're trying to lift your hair a lot um, and your hair is this dark. So I think this is a great idea. And I think her sectioning here is incredible. I've been doing a little research about how to get this sort of 90s, early 2000s hair color moment where it's super stripey. And and I always thought it was just like foils like on the mohawk section of the head. But apparently, I don't know if this is like a newer thing or this is actually how people did it. I remember it just being foils, but what she did a great job of was sectioning her hair and you actually have to do slices all the way down. Like they're going all the way down. It's not just a mohawk section. And you'll see that you have to lighten and then darken every other section. She's going on her fringe right now. And I think this is lightener and she is going fully to the scalp 
with the lightener. This is going to give her that super bright, super chunky highlight moment right in the front of her head. And she looks like she's doing a great job at applying this lightener and her sectioning looks fierce. So far, so good. Do you see how she is going in and actually dividing up the section? This is what I wish the last girl did. And also guys, you can see that she's not starting on her mids and ends here and that's totally fine. She is coloring virgin hair, but her hair on the ends is already colored blonde. So she's not gonna start on the ends and then go to the roots because that wouldn't make any sense. I know I confuse a lot of you guys when I say things like this, like don't start at the roots, but there are times where you do start at the roots. So sorry for the confusion. She's doing all the light sections first, which makes sense, which is a great idea. That way you're not getting the dark color on your hands and then back onto the lighter sections or vice versa. You know, you don't want any cross over here. You're trying to get pure white and black right next to each other, which is the hardest thing to do. In a salon, we would definitely use foils in this instance because she does have like almost three inches of root grown out. You do have a big risk of that one inch part that is right next to the root being lighter than the other two inches of hair. And that is probably what's gonna happen. It probably won't be perfect, but it'll look decent. In this salon, we would definitely use foils for this. That way everything gets heated up evenly and everything processes evenly and you don't have any hot roots. So I just realized something. This is gonna be a lot easier for her because she already has that dark color in between, which is her natural hair color. So I'm sure she's not even going to touch that part of her roots that is in between the lightener. Um, she's probably just going to put color on her ends. That would be the smartest idea, but you know, we don't always see the smartest things happen on YouTube uh, during DIY color jobs. Oh. My God. We definitely had a lot of banding, a lot of hot roots, a lot of messiness going on. I thought she was gonna get away with it. She didn't and she's going over it again. But as you can see, those lines look super crisp and beautiful and I'm so here for it. Wow, it looks magical. What is that section though? Girl, these sections are not even. I see you. Toning with T18, I'll take it. Totally fine. Again, I don't hate T18. It's just a confusing product. And I think she put dark color on the darker sections already before she put the T18 on, which is great. I'm glad she didn't try to lighten and darken at the same time or else she would have had issues with things overlapping and getting the dark on the light and the light on the dark. It would have been so messy and ugly. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> that is absolutely giving me Y2K aesthetic. Look at the way she can part her hair any which way and she still gets the stripes. That is when you know you did it well. It's definitely not perfect. This is what happens when you put super light hair next to super dark hair get the dark hair running into the white blonde hair. That is why it's appearing gray on her ends and yellow on her roots because when she washed her hair, it transferred over. So that's what sucks about it. It's really hard to keep that white white and that dark dark when doing this sort of back to back blonde and black highlighting moment. So it's not the easiest to take care of, but it looks fierce. And if you're okay with it not looking perfect all the time, this might be the look for you. Maybe she should just do the entire, you know, stripe like gray. So it doesn't look like yellow and then gray. Right? Like that's the only thing that's really bothering me here. But it's a she did a good job. Like I'll take it. She's giving us the moment and she is the moment. So I'll take it. So there's not actually a lot on YouTube about this 90s, early 2000s chunky highlight moment. I did want to highlight some stuff I've seen on TikTok because that is the place doing all the chunk. This first video is by Delana Bays. So she does the same exact sectioning we saw in the last video. And um, it looks like she does a really good job. Oh, and then she uses some box dye for the brown parts, which, you know, whatever. We'll leave it there today. Um, and oh my God, you can't tell me that doesn't look Phenomenal. Everything she just did was so perfect. I also think it's really cool. When you do this whole moment, you only like do up until here and then the rest is dark, but it still gives you like that streaky moment because the last section of the blonde kind of like cascades over the darkness in the back and it looks gorgeous. Amazing. So now we have a video by Swag Daddy Angie. Let's see her transformation. So she starts off with this very dark, almost black hair. And then we are going into this moment. <laughs> ah! It's giving me skunk. It's giving me 90s, early 2000s. Also, thank God you have naturally black hair because I don't think that dark hair is going to start bleeding onto the blonde because I'm pretty sure it's her natural color. So this will stay nice and bright for a while for her. I wish the highlights were a little bit chunkier. I do, I really do. If we're gonna go for the moment, let's go for the moment. Ah, I love it. Next TikTok is by Bridget underscore Desk Range and she has a whole 
load of foils in her hair. Huh. Okay. Okay. What this is giving me is Kelly Clarkson on the red carpet in the early 2000s. You can tell that she definitely got this done by a professional hairdresser. Who knows the early 2000s and the 90s because this is perfection and not a lot of hairdressers know how to do this because we are not taught how to do this. When this died out, we're all like, this is definitely dying out forever. But no, it comes back. Everything comes back around. The foils were perfectly laid down. Perfect definition of the lowlights and highlights is flawless. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, what the actual f Brad? How do you like this? And I'm gonna tell you something. I just like things that are different. I like things that are weird. I like things that make people wonder if it's actually cute or it's ugly as hell. Like, I just love stuff like this. This is a look you have to really go for. Okay, we have a little transformation here. We have um, some pink ends going on. We have some darker natural roots. So how are we gonna transform this head? We have everything sectioned out right where her parting usually is, which is a great idea. And we're going in the roots and we're going with the dark color. Oh my God. We're doing a pink and brown moment. I love it. And I love that the highlights and lowlights go all the way through her hair. That way, if you part it any which way, you're gonna see those lows and highs. There's so many on TikTok that I can go through, but those are some that I just found and wanted to check out with you guys. They looked so good and so just absolutely not great at the same time, but I personally am a huge fan. Let me know what you guys think about this whole trend going on. Would you try it? I feel like most of you would say no. Absolutely not, but that's okay. Well, it's another day and another day I'm leaving the Hairdresser Reacts set wanting to do my hair in the stuff I saw in the videos today. Like I want stripey highlights. Somebody tell me not to because I'm about to do it. I want stripes. I love those videos today. I love a little nostalgia moment. And I love the way people are taking the 90s striped hair and making it their own. You can check out me and my hair brand everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles right here. And you can also shop X Mondo Hair Care and X Mono color with the links right below. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.